Some things in pharmacy just work better together. Vitamin D and calcium, amoxicillin and clavulanic acid, homeopathy and a placebo effect. But perhaps one of the most important pairings is that a pharmacist and other health professionals working together to provide optimal patient care. Pharmacists are the drug experts, and by, by combining their unique expertise with that of other health professionals, patients can benefit from improved medication use and enhanced level of care. However, at present, pharmacists exist on the periphery of the Australian primary health care team. Collaborative services currently provided by GPs and pharmacists are largely limited by ge geographical isolation, um, poor access to patient information, and communication that is largely sporadic, fragmented, and problem-focused. This is unfortunate given that Australia's population is getting older and sicker and patients in the community are at an increasing risk of having medication related problems. In fact, the literature shows that one in 10 patients who visit their GP experience an adverse drug event, with over half of these considered moderate or severe and a staggering 8% requiring hospitalisation. Put simply, we need to work together to optimise medication outcomes in primary care. A possible solution and the focus of my PhD is the integration of a clinical pharmacist into general practice. Such arrangements have been implemented successfully overseas, and it's envisioned that such a role could be developed within the context of the Australian general practice. So, to address this issue, my PhD comprises two main phases. In phase one, I interviewed a range of stakeholders, including GPs, practice staff, and pharmacists, to um, explore their views on this potential integration. We, just, we discussed things like the roles of the general practice pharmacists and the perceived benefits and disadvantages of these roles. In addition, participants shared their thoughts on the challenges of integration and how these could be overcome successfully. From these findings, the ideal practice pharmacist role can be developed. In phase two, I will pilot test this role in a sample of general practice clinics in Victoria. This new collaborative service has the potential to reduce medication errors, improve the quality of prescribing and optimise patient health outcomes. Additionally, it creates a new job opportunity for a profession that is currently undervalued and underutilised. So, this is an example of just one way we can potentially improve the care of patients in primary care. So, like ferrous sulphate and vitamin C, let's work together towards a healthier, safer and better tomorrow. Thank you.